The county sheriff in Panama City, Florida, says he's worried that more people haven't evacuated yet. That city hasn't had a direct hit from a hurricane since 1895. CBS Evening News anchor Jeff Glor is in Panama City, leading our coverage of Hurricane Michael from Florida. Jeff, good morning. It is stunning to hear how historic and how Laura, big this storm is. It, is. it is chilling how bad this hurricane has gotten and how quickly it has gotten there. The water is coming up here. Winds picking up heavy rain now for a couple hours at least. About 375,000 people have cleared out the Florida panhandle as Hurricane Michael seems to get worse by the minute. It took less than 36 hours for Michael to strengthen from a tropical storm to a major hurricane. Michael is now racing toward Florida's panhandle where hundreds of thousands of people have gotten out of the way. Homes and business owners filled sandbags and boarded up windows, <laughs> leaving streets and marinas deserted. At the supermarket, shelves are empty. If you're on the fence about thinking about whether to evacuate, don't be on the fence. This storm can kill you. Emergency officials have sent at least 100 troopers with the Florida Highway Patrol to the Panhandle. Also here to help, search and rescue teams from states as far away as Pennsylvania and Indiana. It's humanity. It's going out and helping folks that are, who are in need. At Tyndall Air Force Base near Panama City, officials evacuated crews and fighter jets. But not everyone in the storm's projected path is leaving. Never been through a hurricane before, heard lots about it, watched them on television. We'd stay and see it out. My daughters want me to go, and I'm like, no, stay. It'll be fine. We'll have fun. <laughs> Hurricane Michael has already left its mark on parts of Central America, killing at least 13 people across El Salvador, Honduras, and Nicaragua. In Cuba, the storm dumped nearly a foot of rain, destroying homes and knocking out power. A Royal Caribbean cruise ship bound for Havana got caught in the hurricane, forcing passengers on board to ride out the winds and rain.